Today I want to cross compare Blaze AI versus Canva and I want to talk about the differences between these two tools to help break down which tool is best for you. So by the way, my name's Chris. I'm a real normal person. This isn't some weird AI video. What I'm actually going to do is just jump into the tools itself and show you the big differences that I have seen because I've been using both of these tools for quite some time now. So first of all, one of the biggest differences is Blaze Blaze AI actually creates like brandability to your content, right? So Canva kind of specializes in making essentially like uh, heavy design like things like I can go in there and create thumbnails. I can create, I mean, don't get me wrong. We have Canva AI and I can essentially tell it to do whatever I want it to do. But that's kind of the same thing as just getting into chat GPT and they even look almost the same, right? And I have to sit there and kind of tell it over and over that I want this specific style and that specific style per brand. Whereas uh, Blaze AI, actually what you do is you create what's called a brand kit, like right here. Um, this is essentially Min Media, that's my marketing agency. And every social post that Blaze AI creates, it is distinguishedly like different based on that brand. So if I go click on the social media tab and I wanna make an Instagram post, right? I click here and what it does is it will actually, it'll have you choose what brand you want it to make the post on and then it will try to go and make it with your styling, your voice, the text colors, the borders. And what it actually does is a lot of people don't know this but with Blaze AI, when you create these brand kits yeah, what it does is it goes and crawls your website, your social media, is like your YouTube, and it will kind of like, it'll gather all that information. And then it, with that information, it will craft specialized social media posts depending on your style, your voice, etc. And it's very helpful. I know a lot of people don't think it might be, but like when I choose the brand, you know, um, I can, it, it will, it'll, it'll, it'll use certain templates that like go along with my branding and the colors it will have me choose that style and it uses my tone of voice in every single one of them and could you craft that in canva ai possibly you know i've tried to do it it's a lot more work though honestly and that's kind of the big distinguishing factor between these two is that blaze ai uh that that's what it's that's what it's known for and we actually use this tool to kind of like help do social media posting per different brands. Because what I do is I work with small businesses and companies and we do doing social media management, but I have to keep that brandness aligned, you know, like the voicing, the text, the layout, the feel, and everything. And that's where Blaze AI is crucially different. I know it seems like a minor detail, but it is huge when it comes to creating social posts and just doing everything. And what's cool about that is it's not only social posting. A lot of people know this, but I can actually go in there and write blog posts. I can write e-com um, product descriptions. Like right here, if I click on marketplace stuff, I can do uh, eBay listings, Facebook marketplace listing, Shopify product stuff, and it will in it will all align with your brand and how you express. Express, is that a weird way to say it? But hopefully that kind of helps you. And when it comes to creating like a social post, you can modify a lot of this stuff. So if I go in here and I create a social media post, I can do a lot of like the the details and like editing like pictures and stuff. But Canva is better at that, if we're being honest. Like watch, I'll show you an example here. So if I choose this one here, generate post, this will just take a second here. It'll create a social media post. See like I can go in here and modify everything. Just like Canva, I can change the layout color. Uh, if I do the color, I can do this yellow, the text. If I click on the background, if I click on background, um, I can change the color to something else. I, essentially, you can do all this. You can do all the custom stuff. You can change the images. Um, and Canva kind of specializes in that. You know, if you want to do a, a post, what you can do is just type in Instagram post, and you can do that as well. And again, guys, if you want to check out Blaze AI or Canva, I'll throw affiliate links down below to both of these tools. They're both extremely helpful. I use them for different things, though. You know what I mean? Like, I do, if I want to get nitty and gritty with, like, design and stuff for, like, an Instagram post like this, you know, if I go in there and customize it, I'm, like, really getting into, de into the design and stuff. Whereas this is more about the copy. 
you know, like, and creating the actual text of the content of it all with Blaze AI. So they're different tools. That's kind of the main difference. Hopefully that helps shed some light. Hit me up in the comments if you guys have any further questions on these tools. This is my comparison of Blaze AI versus Canva and the differences. Again, affiliate links will be in the description. I also have links to like courses, guides, if you want to work with me, etc. All right, guys, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.